What's going on everyone? Ninja here from NTP back again with another Naruto statue. Today we have Sasuke. Sasuke is, I'll throw up a picture here, <laughs> Sasuke is basically the like main rival of Naruto. Like there's, there's just so much conflict between these two that it goes way deep, like really deep later on. Um, like, if you, if you know the entire story, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it goes way back, super far, like, generations of stuff. And that's all, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to go, like, that's kind of a major spoiler um, that I just mentioned there. I'm going to leave that at that. I'm not going to spoil really anything about it. But, basically, Naruto and Sasuke have just, like, this infamous rivalry that, uh, in, in a lot of ways, propels the story. You know, like, it, it, it makes both them stronger, and it propels the story, and it keeps things kind of going in, in a, I don't know, maybe, I don't want to say linear fashion, but, um, anyway. Basically, Sasuke was, like, the gifted guy who, um, you know, was always great at everything, and Naruto was, like, the opposite. He was always, he was awful at everything, and he, he had to work hard to be awesome, or to be great, and Sasuke didn't really have to try for anything. So, like, when Naruto starts catching up to Sasuke, Sasuke feels like he's weak because he always sees Naruto as weak. So that, like, drives him to want to get more power. And he ends up doing bad things and making wrong choices. And it leads to, like, all the events of Shippuden. <laughs> and so many, like... He, Sasuke gets to the point where he's just stupid, okay? Just gonna, like... I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. Obviously, I'm not trying to speak for everyone here. But, I like, when he gets to a certain point and... He, you know, he, he kills a certain someone. He makes the choice like, all right, I'm going to do this. And I'm just like, why? You know, you've already, you've accomplished something you've wanted to accomplish. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, it's like, why? Like, at this point, I, w I was just, oh, I was so disappointed with Sasuke. I just, I hated his character. It was so stupid. The things that he did for the reasons he did them were, were so dumb. I mean, yeah, he's trying to avenge a certain person at that point. And make things better, but I feel like there's just another way to go about it. I don't know. It's dumb. It's real dumb. But this is like the younger version of him. I have the more uh, spoiler version of him, like over there in front of Neji. Um, so no need to look at all that. Uh, we're just gonna focus on this guy. So that's enough explanation of who Sasuke is. Obviously, a really important character. You really couldn't have the show without Sasuke. With Naruto, you know, it's like Naruto. Show's named after him, but the show couldn't really be a show without Sasuke. So, you need both of them, both elements. Very, very important characters here. Um, uh, very comparable to uh, Goku and Vegeta. Again, I've never really watched Dragon Ball. I know, don't, like, spaz on me or anything, people in the comments. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, stop, don't, stop, shame, don't, stop. Don't freak out on me for not watching Dragon Ball ever. I will eventually watch it, I promise. Uh, but at least I know that there's a pretty infamous rivalry between Goku and Vegeta, and you could compare it to that. You could compare Naruto and Sasuke having this rivalry to that if you're a pretty big Dragon Ball fan. So I'm going to leave it at that, um, and we'll move into the dimensions here. All right, so legs here are 8 by 4 by 12. The torso is 8 by 4 by 12. The arms are attached or aligned to the torso, and they are 4 by 4 by 12. And the head here is 8 by 8 by 8. Or, yeah, 8 by 8 by 8 uh, with uh, the only hat effect being here on the very back of him, and that is just like the little knot from his headband that goes around his head, as you can see. Um, that's really it. Um, otherwise, there's these pretty, pretty plain and simple, pretty straightforward. So, we'll leave it at that. Um, I will have pictures at the very end in the plastic texture pack. So, if I go by this too quickly, which could very well happen. Go ahead and check that out to help you. Because <laughs> I might go by this really fast and you won't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I just passed by something you didn't want me to pass by so quickly. And I don't know. You get the point of what I'm trying to say here. Let's just move into this. Move into the detailing. Waste no more time. All right. Here we are. So the legs and the like outlining of his... Like bandages and stuff, that's all blue. Skin showing there is birch wooden planks. The detailing on like the wraps and everything, that is uh, light gray, most of it's white. He also has on like white shorts with um, a little kunai uh, patch thing that we're gonna show right now. That's what the little black is. It's just a little black 
uh, patched or pouch there. Um, we still have like the same colors on the bottom there with the shoes. Blue just all wraps around, skin wraps around. Um, the white pants, they kind of wrap around there on the top. And then we have a really weird pattern um, with the wrapping that I really didn't do a very good... I, I guess I couldn't really figure out how to uh, do it on the sides here. So I just ended up just putting a little bit of light gray and calling it a day. Did not mean for that to rhyme. Coming around here to the uh, back of the legs now. We have uh, the pants, of course, being white. Very similar to the front, actually. You can just mirror it across or invert it. As you can see with the wrapping, with the light gray, the blue, and the shoes and everything, that can all just be wrapped around, and uh, the skin and all that, that can all just come around as well. So very, pretty, pretty simple. Same color, same, same concept, really. And then over here, this is just a mirroring of the other side, as I did. You know, you can see this is the exact same thing, minus the kunai pouch. So just make the pants white, and mirror the rest of it over with the birch one planks, blue, light gray, white, and you should be good with that side of the leg. So after you've done that, move on to the front of the torso. So Sasuke just has like this blue shirt or this blue hood kind of thing. I don't know. It covers up part of his face as you can see there. So most of it's just blue though. Really plain and simple. And he's got like some arm warmers or whatever on. Those are white with a light gray outline and the skin showing there is uh, birch wooden planks. I also opted just to do the blue version of, Nar of uh, not Naruto, of uh, Sasuke here, even though later on he does switch to a, honestly, a much cooler, like, black outfit. Um, I just opted to do this one because um, it's like after the tuning exams, he switches outfits to a black one, and uh, I think I just wanted to go more original. Even though, what you'll see tomorrow, I did do this with Sakura, like she's supposed to have longer hair, and I ended up uh, giving her the shorter version of the hair. So I just, I kind of picked and, I kind of pick and chose the versions of the characters I wanted to in this instance. So, um, but if you want to make him black, uh, then really the only thing you have to do is change his colors of his clothes from being uh, blue to black, if you want the black version of it, because it's it's very similar, and then maybe add a little bit of like extra like detailing here on maybe the arm warmers because they're a little different too. Um, but really, that's about it. It's just it goes from blue to black. So I just wanted blue mostly because it it looked better with it being blue next to Naruto, who's orange, and Sakura who's going to be like red. So it was more like uh, primary colors. So I liked that. But anyway, as I'm showing here. <laughs> The arms and all this just wraps around the colors of everything. It all just comes all the way around to the very back. Really, really simple. And then the very back of him, he's got his little Uchiha symbol of his clan, which is on the very back of him, on the very back of his uh, his uh, coat shirt thing. And uh, that is white and red. Pretty simple. Just two colors. Making this pattern. Not really much to say about it. And then, as the same thing with the other arm, this arm, just all wraps around. The light gray, the white, birch one planks to blue. All of it just goes all the way around his body. Pretty, pretty simple. All right, moving on to the front of the face. Probably the most colors on this guy in one in one place at least. Again, didn't make me for that to rhyme. Um, <laughs> so the bottom of his uh, face is entirely blue, covering up his mouth, you know, and everything. Skin's birch one planks. His eyes are gray. The other half of his eyes are black. Although, now that I think about it, it'd probably look a little bit better if you changed it to uh, blocks of coal. Um, maybe. Probably would. A little bit. Um, other half of his eyes, though, are uh, white. His hair is obviously very, very black and pretty long. Um, his headband is blue. And the uh, symbol on the headband is a little covered up by the hair, but you can see there's light gray there with stone and gray. Let's go to this side of the head. You can see that the headband really just goes all the way around. It just wraps around his head, as well as like the blue collar thing that's on his shirt, a uh, hoodie thing. Um, that just wraps around his head as well. It goes all the way around. Um, hair is black. Skin showing there is birch wind planks. Pretty self-explanatory. Moving over here to the back. This is very self-explanatory. You just have the band from the shirt hoodie thing and the band from the headband of blue goes all the way around. And then what's not blue is basically black. And then the hat effect here is just this little knot in the very center of the headband, and that is just blue, coming out one. And this side, I believe, is not the same as the other side. It is a little different. Yep, fairly different. So um, the pattern on this side is uh, it's same colors, same color scheme, same color palette. Just, you know, a little bit of a difference there um, 
with the Birchwind planks, the black and the blue. And then of course, the top is just filling with black. I did not give him spiky hair like Naruto. I can I actually I considered it, but in the end I decided to not go with it and just leave him like this cuz I think he looks a little bit nicer maybe, just leaving it all nice and simple like that. Uh, but after filling that top or give him spiky hair, you're done with uh, the original version of uh, Sasuke, or the younger version, I guess you could say, of Sasuke. Uh, but that is it for this one, guys. If you have any requests, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Try to avoid Naruto characters, mostly because, you know, as I can show you behind me, uh, there's already a lot of them already made. So go ahead and try and go for other shows and other series and stuff. Um, I mentioned in the previous video with Naruto, as you can see over there, we got like One Piece characters, there's a bunch of them, like way off in the distance, you can probably make out a few different characters over there if you're a One Piece fan. So, if you'd like to see that, definitely let me know in the comments, or there's also Fairy Tale uh, that we've got uh, coming down the pipeline as well, so really, which one of those gets more uh, interest or more uh, requests for, that will be the one we put out first. Um, other than that... That's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you for the next one.